Hi, welcome to this week's Standard Statement. I'm Chris Alford. Making front page news, the Bears actually won last week um, with a 40 to 8 score against Northern Arizona. And that's a pretty big deal because Northern Arizona is ranked the 20th in the nation. And moving on, Unity and Community is the new public affairs conference, and it is actually working to address the public issues that affect communities beyond a geographical standpoint. The Public Affairs Conference is also going to be bringing films and a bunch of speakers to campus. Also coming to campus, President Donald Trump. He is coming to the JQH Arena on Friday, September 21st. Now tickets are free, but you do have to get some to get inside the building. I know that there's going to be protesters out on the side. Doors open at 4 o'clock. Trump is coming so that he can endorse Josh Hawley during his campaign for the elections coming up in November. And moving on, parking woes by the number. So it's really no secret that parking at Missouri State isn't stellar. And our own Connor Wilson actually talked to the transportation manager, Cole Pruitt, and he said that there are 5,456 commuter parking spaces and 8,705 commuter permits sold. And they said that that's actually not a bad thing. They just don't ever want to go a third over the amount. Pruitt actually said that we don't have on this university what folks would consider convenient parking or doorstep parking, but he would love to be able to provide that for everybody, although it's not a possibility, so don't get your hopes up. And moving on, Queen City was crowned the best college town in Missouri. The U.S. Census Bureau actually used data that involved unemployment rates for 20 to 24-year-olds, easy access to the city, and weighing the cost of living, which all contributed to the fact that Springfield is the number one college town in Missouri. Also, just in case you missed it, Cider Days on Walnut Street just passed, but we have pictures in this issue of The Standard. So you can actually go online or just pick up a paper on your way to class and you will see some great pictures that our photographers took. And that's all that I have for The Standard Statement this week. Please make sure to follow us on all social media and pick up a copy of The Standard. I'm Chris Alford. I'll see you next time.